Hi, in this video of C language, we are going to discuss about the assignment operator. As we have already given a look on this assignment operator while discussing the left hand value and right hand value, here we will see some more complex statement. As here you can see, apart from this simple equals to operator, we do have some more operators which are nothing but a shorthand operators. For example, if I'll discuss about plus equals to, it will add up two numbers and then the value will be assigned on the left hand side variable. Like here, if I say C plus equals to A, means the C will be added to A and then the value will be assigned to C. Similarly, minus equals plus equals to, for all the things, you can see there's a same treatment. So let's see practically how to go for these shorthand operators using the assignment operator. So in this example, you can easily observe the different working of equals to operator, that is the assignment operator. As first of all, I have taken a value in variable a, and then when I'll say a is equal, c is equal to a, that means, as we know, the value will travel from right to left, and the value of a will be assigned to c. After that, you can see some shorthand operators out here, like c plus equals to a, that actually means c is equal to c plus a. That means the value of c and a will get added and the new value, the sum, will be assigned to c. Similarly, again here you can see c is equal to c minus equals to a. That means c is equal to c minus a. Alright, so it is minus a. So this is how the, they actually work. So for anything which you use, whether it's an arithmetic operator or a bitwise operator, the way of doing the thing will be same. All right. So if, if I'll execute this one, you will see the various outputs. Like in the first, when I assigned the value of uh, A in C, C also got the same value, that is 21. Then we added 21 and 21, that becomes 42. Then we subtracted 42 and uh, 21 because A is still 21 here. So that will do 42 minus 21. So in the third line, you again got 21. Now here, since both are 21, when you will product 21 and 21, it will become 441. Again, when you divide 441, because C will get 441, when you will divide 441 with 21, again you will get a 21. And similarly, at the last, when you say, C is equal to 200 and then when you will find the uh, modulus, that is the remainder, you will find 11 out of it. So this is about the assignment operator where you can perform some shorthand operators along with any arithmetic or other operations.